It's time for week four in the LBB19 house. Here's what happened. This week, Lucas was randomly selected to press a button on the BB remote, and he pressed the home button, which triggered a double elimination round. This round, there would be two simultaneous rounds, with two HOHs nominating two sets of nominees, with two people going home, one from each set of nominees. In the dice stacking HOH competition, Tiffany and Desh won both of the HOH spots. Desh announced that he wanted to keep the trend of nominating couples, meaning that Meredith and Lucas would be his two nominees. Because of these steady nominations, he was able to make strong one-on-one -on -one conversations with most of the remaining house guests. Meanwhile, Rita started pushing the final six of Rita, Abriel, Tiffany, Oscar, Desh, and Josh that she and Josh made the week before. And I feel comfortable with you two, especially. Right. Okay, I feel comfortable with those guys too. Yeah. So um, yeah. feel free to tell her. But I did. That's what I was like telling you about. I was like, yeah, we talk on the car. Yep. Oh yeah. Okay, right. That's what it was about. Okay. Fine. Let's chat more. I'm cool with that too. I just want to chat with her really quick. Do this is something that happened last round. After getting Abrielle and Tiffany to commit to the Alliance, Rita stopped by Desh's HOH room and told Desh about the Alliance. Tiffany brought up Oscar as a strong competitor and someone worth targeting. Additionally, Abrielle and Allie told Tiffany that Mackenzie leaked Abrielle's Blue Rewind to Lucas, making Mackenzie seem untrustworthy. Oscar, he's, if he's Oscar knows to, like, is, is, like, aligned with too many people. Okay. I think yeah, yeah. that like putting Oscar up with Mackenzie and telling Mackenzie she's the pawn and then voting for Mackenzie. <laughs> <laughs> she just got sketch. Yeah. Oh Me? shit. Okay. No, no, that was oh, like okay. that it's was like good. Damn. Damn. No, y'all can trust me. Okay. Like mm -hmm. you you two are the only okay, you I will say you two are the only people who can really, really trust me. Okay. Josh and Desh caught up as a final two pair. Additionally, Josh and Desh solidified the Final Six Alliance with the two of them, Oscar, Rita, Abrielle, Tiffany, and Rita. It's the gays, me, you, and Oscar, mm -hmm. with the girls. Yeah. And we were like, bitch, the girls could flip on us. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, just, I'm here for the gays. Right, I'm here for the gays. And I feel like if it was me, mm -hmm. you, Oscar, Tiffany, Rita, within a small line, okay. we could work it out. Mackenzie heard about Oscar's nomination from Tiffany, but whenever Mackenzie asked Tiffany about her second nominee, Tiffany acted confused like she didn't know who would be nominated. Mackenzie, so sorry girl. You are going to the block. It's not because I don't like you, I like you, you're cool. But you've been playing a sketchy game with some people that I wanna play a game with, so Girl, bye. Desh told Meredith that she would be nominated under his HOH. Meredith understood because the two hadn't talked much throughout the competition so far. However, Desh did offer to give Meredith some help by nominating her against someone she would likely beat, specifically Lucas. After Meredith brought up the option of a veto, Desh revealed that he would probably put up Maddie as a replacement nominee in Lucas's place. Meredith was comfortable with this and appreciated Desh's help and honesty. At the double nomination ceremony, Desh nominated Lucas and Meredith, and Tiffany nominated Oscar and Mackenzie, as expected. And Tiffany won the power of veto in a free-for-all competition where everyone competed for one power of veto. Mackenzie, Mackenzie, Mackenzie. She spilled the tea about my rewind that I found to Lucas who I had talked to like once. So I was like, damn sis, okay. Well now I really want Lucas to go home. But at the end of the day, I was fine with either of them. So I was just whatever. And Derek ended up going home, which is fine. But now we're in the double week. The home button has been played. But man, am I sitting pretty. I'm okay with it. I think I'm doing all right. I talked to Tiffany, she, really didn't like what Mackenzie did because I told her about it. So she put up Mackenzie, she put up Oscar, and then Desh is the other HOH who put up Meredith and Lucas. So I think Lucas is gonna go home. Oh, and Tiffany just won veto. So I think Lucas is gonna go home and then Mackenzie's gonna get blindsided, which 
Sorry, girl. It's very... And then from here on out, I think I have a pretty decent way paved, at least for a couple more rounds. Um, Allie and I have a final two, and then Allie, Tiffany, and I have a final three. Um, so sit and pretty. And then Rita approached me and Tiffany about being in a final six with Desh and Oscar and Josh. So I feel like I'm covered from a lot of angles. I still have barely talked to Meredith, like maybe once and only in group settings. So I might need to fix that. But things are going okay. Mackenzie felt betrayed because she wasn't even given a heads up that she would be facing the block. Because Mackenzie had helped Abrielle and Allie win HOH the week before, she was surprised that she was being turned on by the girl so quickly. Oh, I love it. I am actually winning something, and so I feel like pretty, pretty, pretty good about it. Um, I've been able to take this opportunity to like check in with the people that I wanted to have connection with and all those different things. And I think like me being very direct and very upfront and being like straightforward, I think helps that. At least from my perspective, it did like you know what you're gonna get from me, you know, straightforward. Um, and so, some people may like that, some people may not, but I think, I think decisiveness and, and kind of seeing where I am is what people have been able to gain from like me as HOH, and I think I've accomplished what I wanted, you know? I've made it well past the first to, to be eliminated, so like, that was good. Uh, and I actually won something, so I'm just, cruising and here to enjoy the ride. I may take on a, a Derek persona, cause chaos, um, just for the fun of it. So, I'm enjoying my time as HOH. Who are you closest with at this point? Obviously Josh, I'm closest with Josh. I think that goes without saying. Um, second, which is, which is hard, I would say like, between like, no, second I would say Tiffany. Third, I would say a cross between like Oscar and, and Mackenzie, which is uh, I'm kind of upset to see see them up there. Instead of uh, those two on the block, is there anyone who you would have liked to have seen in their place? I would have loved to see Allie up there. I feel like she, she has a rewind. I feel like there's something there that I personally don't like trust or like be able to connect to. And so I would be right now, if she did not have a rewind, I would be mobilizing for people to put her on the, or put her up um, for Tiffany to use a veto, pick the girl out and put, put Allie up there. But I know she would use the rewind, so like that would be messy and so. Not this time, gotta pick a choose my battles. Meredith got many assurances that she would survive the block against Lucas. However, whenever Meredith brought up that she felt uncomfortable moving further in the game without any strong alliances, the others voiced that they didn't want her to go home. But Meredith aptly asserted that no one really wanted her to stay, either. Whenever Tiffany found out that Mackenzie was upset about her nomination, Tiffany began to stress that it was strictly a strategic game move clearly feeling a bit guilty about it all. At the veto ceremony, Tiffany left the four nominations the same, so one of Lucas and Meredith would be evicted, and one of Oscar and Mackenzie would be evicted, going into the eviction ceremony. Everybody that I've been like tight with and friends with has been ignoring me and won't tell me how they're voting, and they're like, oh, it's so tough. And then my friends I've had the whole round that I've helped them win comps are like, what? Look at that tree over there, that's crazy. So, uh, pretty sure it was a conspiracy to get me out because I have too many friends in the house. And um, I mean, it's gonna come down to do they want somebody good at comps or do they want somebody who's friendly with like everyone? And I'm friendly with a lot of people because I'm a nice person. But I think I'm doing good. I'm, I'm happy with the current place I'm in and the people that I talk to. 
and I get a good vibe from everyone. I think eventually I might have to cut Allie or she'll just get a target on her back because she is literally aligned with everyone and she's running things, which rather her, not me, I'm okay with. Um, Josh is starting to get a little bit of a target because he's aligned with literally everyone. But we'll see where the day goes. We'll see where the day takes us. Meredith and Lucas said their goodbyes because they would finally be split up in the game. I don't, I don't know that there's much more I can do. Um, I think if I don't go out this week, I think people are going to be going after me week after week um, and putting me up on the block. I'm feeling okay for this week, but I think the problem for me is going into next week. Does anyone want me gone? Not particularly. Does anyone want me to stay? Probably not. That's the thing, that like, if I'm up again next week because like, oh, there's no one really better, then like, no one's fighting for me to come down. They'd be like, oh, I'd prefer if you did, maybe, but like, I just don't know if I have anyone in my corner. I don't have anything that feels very solid going forward. Mackenzie wanted to bust up the majority alliance that had tossed her out. And she said that Maddie, Abrielle, and Allie were the three power players at the top of the game. They're playing a shady game. Now I'm trying to get scared. <laughs> I'm just saying if you keep me, I'm going to be loyal. And they're just going to pick you off one by one. Mm -hmm. And I'm not loyal to them because I know exactly what they're doing. Like, why get rid of one of your allies if you were going to be loyal to me, so. Mm -hmm. Mackenzie went to fellow nominees Lucas and Meredith and told them that they were on the bottom of Maddie, Abrielle, and Allie's power structure. If you want to play their game where they're going to sit in their little bubble of power and pick off everybody one by one, cool, do that. Um, but if you don't, I really would appreciate your votes because otherwise it's just going to be follow the leader with them. Yeah, and I'm, I'm well aware of that. It's brazy. This shit is crazy. I can't believe there's four people up for elimination, but what I can believe is that I'm not up for elimination. Um, I haven't been up for elimination yet, and I'm wanting to keep that streak going. With this elimination, I had to really think about who I wanted to go home. From Desh's nominees, I am sending home Lucas. Um, I think I have saved him a few times, and I just can't anymore. I feel more confident in Meredith, so I'm saving Meredith. Um, no shade to Lucas, still love you, but um, I just feel as though I've saved him a few times and I need to spread that grace to Meredith. Um, I cannot go against Oscar. Um, we have had a good friendship at the beginning, so I just really want to keep that going. Um, he's very genuine, he's very nice, so like I just, I can't do that to him, I already told him that I wouldn't do it to him. But I feel so bad for McKinley, but I mean, it's the way that the game goes. It's nothing personal, sister. Oh, McKinley, I hope that we can be friends after this. It's nothing personal. It's just the game. Um, but I have a title to win, so um, I'm gonna go do that. Abrielle told Josh about McKinley's leak of the blue rewind to Lucas, further stressing that McKinley needed to go. I feel like I'm stuck because if I keep trying to stay in this competition, the majority right now is the girls. So as long as they keep winning or because the odds for, for me to win HOH against six, seven, eight girls are bad. So I feel like as of right now, I'm gonna still be in the lower end in that selection whenever they try to keep their friends safe. So, We'll see what happens. I think the only thing that could change this game is that if in the next couple weeks, maybe Dash or Josh or me start winning more HOH competitions, and then we can start to mix things up within that group because that group right now is very strong with the girls. And that's it right now. So we just have to wait and see what happens. So if I get to stay another week, and we try to turn it around, whereas to more girls are gonna be on the other side of the 
game that's gonna be interesting but if that doesn't happen then i'm always gonna be in this same bottom spot at the eviction ceremony mackenzie made one last speech to try to stay in the game and she stressed that the majority alliance of girls had tossed her out even though she had helped them win hoh and veto just one week before and ultimately lucas and mackenzie were the two to go home in this double eviction Meredith is alone as the last person in the game who was a member of a couple. And additionally, the larger alliance of the girls, the gays, and the theys remain as the top nine. How will the game continue to take shape moving into the jury phase? Find out next time on LBB19.